cop watch, policing the police every single day. Sick, helped her heal. Eight year old grandmother was jailed overnight in Clare County because she had a very, very small amount of pot at her home, but her medical marijuana card had expired. Fox 17's Dana Chicklis joins us in the studio with details, and the families pushed Dana to end the stigma surrounding marijuana. Right, Doug, we spoke with Dolores Saltzman and her son Mark, who say cannabis saved Dolores' life. It worked up an appetite for her when she was sick, helped her heal after multiple surgeries, and today she says it eases her pain from ongoing health conditions. So you can imagine how disturbed they are today after a deputy took this 80-year-old woman to jail for the first time in her life. After I smoke, I go down to a one. Pain-wise. What pain-wise. Before I smoke, I would say I'm an eight right now. This November, Dolores Saltzman turns 81. She lives with arthritis, diverticulitis, muscle and bone aches. But she says cannabis keeps her moving and making art. And this is the little paper I work with. It's called Quilly. And it saved my life because I had a bad bleed. But the medicine the doctor put you on, the opioids and all of that, what did that do to you? Sick to my stomach. June 13th, around 9 at night, Clare County Deputy Ashley Gruno knocked on Dolores' door, according to court records, to return Dolores' great-granddaughter's phone. That's when the deputy smelled marijuana. She came in and kind of frustrated. Do you remember how you were telling yes, me she that did. she, your anxiety went up oh, off the roof? Way up. And she asked who, whose it was, correct? Right, and I told her it was me. You can see the deputy seized several pipes, four joints, and one purple jar with an undisclosed amount of cannabis. How much marijuana did she take? About that much. Dolores but says the deputy searched her bedroom, took pictures, even helped her clean up. I got everything done but the one pan. And I says, you, are you ready, hon? Because she just standing there leaning after she put the bread and ketchup away, just leaning there. I said, are you ready, hon? Uh, let's go. Then Dolores was handcuffed in the patrol car, says she wasn't read her rights and escorted to jail for the night. That's ridiculous what they do pe to people. <laughs> they don't need to make you that cold. The old Arthur was screaming at me. She won't know who Arthur is. Arthritis. Dolores hopes sharing her story will help others. That's what I want people to do. Yeah. Don't be ashamed of it. Something that's going to help you feel better. Her son Mark says this deputy made a mistake. I just thought it was absolutely ridiculous to put her through this like that. They could have given her a ticket and to show us your card later. Fox 17 reached out to the Clare County prosecutor and sheriff about how this case was handled. Clare County prosecutor Michelle Ambrositis tells Fox 17 in part her office charged Dolores with misdemeanor marijuana possession because Dolores wasn't a medical marijuana card holder, though they encouraged her to renew her card. Then August 2nd, a judge signed this order dismissing Dolores's case. Sheriff John Wilson wrote Fox 17 what the person was doing was illegal. Had she renewed her medical marijuana card, she would have been fine. He says he agrees with the prosecutor in allowing Dolores to renew her card, then dismissing the case. Right. Dolores's renewed medical marijuana card is on its way, but she urges voters to legalize marijuana in November and end the stigma. I hope in that we all learn a lesson from this and, and we make amends and, and uh, people will get out and vote for it. We're the ones that have to stand up. We are the people and we just got to fight for our rights. So clearly a big vote coming up in November to legalize right. recreational marijuana, which is what Dolores was just talking about. Uh, and I did ask specifically the Clare County Sheriff, you know, why, do you feel it was appropriate for your deputy to not only ticket this grandmother, but to jail her overnight? He's yet to respond to that part of my inquiry. But again, you know, part of the reason that Dolores and her son Mark wanted to share this story is because they just, again, want to express how it's changed her life medically. And also their disgust in feeling the jailing wasn't necessary. Ticket, fix it, ticket, okay. But to really jail an 80-year-old person overnight for this? Right. That's up for a debate. With enough health problems as it is, but right. now kind of thrust into the spotlight on this debate. So mm -hmm. it yeah. looks like they're willing to take it on. Yeah, absolutely. Excellent. Thank you, Dana. Well, the annual National Night Out.
80-year-old grandma thrown in jail for smoking pot in her own home to treat her arthritis. An 80-year-old grandma was arrested for having a tiny bit cannabis in her own home to treat her arthritis, because her card was expired. By John Vibes, August 5, 2018. Clare County, Michigan, Dolores Saltzman, an 80-year-old grandma was recently arrested because she had an expired medical marijuana card and police found a very small amount of cannabis in her home, about the equivalent of just a few joints. Last month, Clare County Sheriff's Deputy Ashley Grunow went by Saltzman home and knocked on the door around 9 p.m., in search of the woman's great-granddaughter, reportedly to return a lost phone and ID. The officer immediately smelled marijuana and began interrogating the poor old woman. Saltzman was honest with the officer and told her that she was a medical patient that allowed her card to expire, and she was arrested on that small technicality. She was then handcuffed and thrown in a cold jail cell where her arthritis without the cannabis to help her began taking its toll. That's ridiculous what they do to people, they don't need to make you that cold, Saltzman told Fox 17. Old Arthur was screaming at me, she said, referring to her arthritis. That's what I want people to do, don't be ashamed of something that's going to help you feel better, she added. I just thought it was absolutely ridiculous to put her through this like that, they could have given her a ticket. And just show us your card later. Reapply for your Lara card, show us this, and then drop the charges, her son Mark Saltzman said. Saltzman said that cannabis has saved her life, and helped her with a variety of issues, including appetite, pain, and arthritis. Cannabis saved my life because I had a bad bleed about four years ago, and Mark took care of me. After I smoke I go down to a one, pain-wise. Before I smoke, I would say I'm an eight right now, the 80-year-old grandma explained. Clare County Prosecutor Michelle Ambrosades made the following statement to Fox 17. Law enforcement went to Ms. Saltzman's home looking for an individual who had been known to stay at that residence. When the deputy arrived, she could smell the odor of marijuana. When she interacted with Ms. Saltzman at the door, Ms. Saltzman admitted to have been smoking marijuana and possessing marijuana and that she had allowed her medical marijuana card to lapse. At that time, Ms. Saltzman turned over to the deputy seven marijuana pipes, four joints, a grinder, and a purple glass jar that also held a quantity of marijuana inside. The deputy arrested Ms. Saltzman for the illegal possession of marijuana and lodged her in the Clare County Jail. Based upon that arrest, a police report and request for charges was generated by the deputy and presented to our office. My assistant prosecutor authorized a possession of marijuana charge based upon the admission by Ms. Saltzman that she wasn't a medical marijuana card holder and the evidence that she did possess marijuana illegally. However, our goal is to ensure that individuals who utilize medical marijuana are doing so legally. As such, Ms. Saltzman was encouraged to obtain her medical marijuana card and if she did so, the case would be dismissed. She did obtain her medical marijuana card and the case was dismissed. Luckily, this week, a Clare County judge signed an order to dismiss Saltzman's case, however, she still had to spend a night in jail, which was likely traumatic and could lead to health problems for people with compromised immune systems, which is common at her age. Showing the callous, cruel, and inhumane nature of the drug warriors, the sheriff had no remorse and was proud to have thrown a grandma in jail. What the person was doing was illegal, had she renewed her medical marijuana card she would have been fine. I agree with the action the prosecutor's office and allowing the subject to renew her card, thus dismissing the case. The person was illegally in possession of marijuana, Clare County Sheriff John Wilson said. Spread the love. Police use who may want to retaliate against him physically. Hey, Sheriff County, this is Sheriff County Cop Watch, and I just wanted you to know that uh, I am using this stuff under fair use. And uh, also, uh, remember to like and subscribe this channel. Uh, also, too, uh, keep in mind, I do not make any money on YouTube. 
Uh, this is uh, five hours work a day, uh, you know, fighting for freedom. And uh, I do, I, you can donate with PayPal and Patreon. Uh, I just want you to think about this. If everybody gives uh, to PayPal and Patreon, Patreon is every month. Actually, PayPal you can do every month. I have 12,000 subscribers. If everybody gives, I can uh, quit my regular job and go full-time investigations on Charlotte County and possibly even more and beyond. So just keep that in mind. If everybody helps out, I can go full-time doing this. Thanks.